All right, testing one, two, three. I'm hoping this works. <clears throat> I'm going to find out in just a moment. Everybody can excuse me for just a moment. I'm going to check the audio level on my channel and make sure everything is working. I'm going to hear a slight echo. It says it's live. If you get an echo, that's a good thing. We're experiencing a 30 second delay. Don't forget. And we do. We're experiencing a 30 second delay. Don't forget. All right. We seem to be good to go. Good heaving, heavy body. Um, welcome once again. Uh, my name is Phil, and this is my channel, and I am an artist, hence the name. Uh, tonight's live stream is uh, going to be joined by my friend Enrique and Vince, uh, as we do every third Wednesday, when it can work out properly. <laughs> uh, but tonight, uh, Enrique wanted to, Enrique, sorry, Enrique wanted to talk about uh, AI and its uh, effects on the artist community and uh, on the future of, uh, of artists. Um, at the moment, you'll probably notice that my environment is a little bit different, and um, that is because I've changed studio locations. <laughs> I was talking about this last week. I think I've probably talked about it the last couple of times, and finally things have fallen into place that the big change could happen, and uh, it's been uh, progressing over the last few days. Um, it's still a lot of work to do. This room is very incomplete, uh, but... Um, it's good enough tonight. I rushed actually to get all the equipment hooked up and everything set up so that I could start the stream tonight. And lo and behold, here we are. Uh, this is a little bit of a narrow view because it is a bit messy in the background. But uh, if I tilt this up, you can see that I've also installed <laughs> LED lights around the top of the studio. I had them before in the last one, but they were uh, in a tube and they kind of drooped and they, they looked terrible. And they were starting to burn out. So it was time to get a new set, and um, Amazon to the rescue, and lo and behold, I, I have this set up now. This is looking slightly out of focus. I don't know if this is, well, no, it's actually looking better on YouTube <clears throat> than it is here. I am going through StreamYard, as you can uh, tell by this thing up here, <clears throat> and uh, it's very handy when you need multiple people in one stream. I would normally like to set this up through OBS and have uh, have me working while doing this, but uh, at the moment, well, two reasons I'm not tonight. One is I'm just I'm not fully set up in here. <clears throat> I'm not too worried about it. I just want to get the stream up and going. <clears throat> and uh, the second reason, I'm getting a cough. My apologies. <clears throat> second reason is um, due to the nature of the discussion tonight. I think Enrique just wanted to talk. Enrique. Enrique wanted to talk. He wanted to share a lot of his thoughts on this, and uh, I want to give him that uh, that stage. Uh, Vince messaged me and said he should be here in 15 minutes, probably actually less. He'll probably be here in less than 10 minutes now. <clears throat> so he should be here, and uh, I'm not sure when Enrique should be here. He'll pop in. He'll pop in, and we'll, we'll bring him in. But uh, it's looking pretty bland behind me at the moment. And still has a window in the same spot. Uh, it's just a little bit lower, I think. But this is because these units are the same. The office that I had before, it, it falls in line with the rest of the building. So it's all going to have these windows. And I have the desk pretty much kind of in the same place as I did in the other studio. I just don't have a sink and cupboards behind me. And I'm glad I got rid of those. Those were ugly. And you can see them in the background. And I thought I always thought they just looked terrible. It didn't look very art studio-ish. This behind me now, once it's ready, I'm going to have the other. Uh, I will have my uh, drafting table set up back there and some movie posters, and I've got the lights, and it's going to be all much more presentable as it is now. So, uh, but it's been it's been an ordeal for me the last few days. Um, getting this ready tonight, I am tired and I am sore and I'm exhausted, and tomorrow I have to go back to work. <laughs> So I need a good night's sleep. Actually, the first part is more I'm going to have to do some more. And then I got to go to work. So no rest for the wicked for me. But um, while well, waiting for Enrique, uh, I should check and see. It says we've got one viewer, and that might that might actually just be me. So I don't think we have any. But uh, these seem to get replay. They seem to get a lot of replay. So I'll 
hopefully we'll we'll get uh, we'll get a few more viewers going on that. Um, I know I had something I'd wanted to discuss. I thought in in the meantime, uh, before everyone got here, and I don't uh, I don't remember what it was. I was going to discuss. I know I did want to talk a little bit about AI because that is the topic of tonight. Um, and uh, I know I had, I had some thoughts on it. I didn't want to share too much. I kind of wanted to save it for the discussion. Uh, AI, I think most people know that now there's uh, a lot of these websites and uh, programs you can download where you just punch in, you can punch in words and prompts and it will assemble something. I think it, uh, I think it just kind of searches online uh, for whatever it is you've typed in. It'll assemble some words and uh, it'll just sort of put together an image. Uh, and while it's certainly come a long way, I don't think it is uh, absolutely perfect yet. Some of the things you get are completely whacked. <laughs> the ones I've tried through, I think, Night Cafe, uh, I'm getting some weird, crazy shit that does not look anything like uh, what I'm, I'm typing in. Some of them have, some of them have come pretty close. You know, I, I've... You know, I you could try typing in Mona Lisa boxing, and somehow I get like what looks like scrambled eggs wrestling a tarantula. Uh, I and it's it, just the wonkiest, weirdest stuff. So I still think it's a ways off. I know, uh, I know AI is advancing very quickly. Uh, even in the time that I've used it, it's it's improved, and it's only just been a few weeks that I've fiddled with it a little bit. I haven't done anything, and I've seen it actually improve but i think it's hitting some major hurdles that it's going to take a long time to to hop over uh so i don't think we're 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 there quite yet but i also said back in the early 90s after i i um some of you know i have an animation background i was trained in traditional animation and then i worked in the in some studios for a very short time and when i came out in the early 90s uh, of Sheridan, um, Sheridan Animation. Uh, when I graduated and I, I was working at that time, we saw that there was um, uh, CGI things coming out. Um, a little, there was that little short film that won an award that, that prompted uh, Toy Story. And I can't, I'm drawing a blank on the name of it. Anyways, we, I mean, it was, it was interesting to see, and it won an award, I, I felt, at the time, undeservedly. But anyways, um, it was just because it was new technology. Uh, but I said at the time, it'll be a long time before it replaces traditional animation. And then I had to open my big mouth and say that, and within a year or so, I couldn't even get work because part of the reason was it was being shipped overseas and another part of the reason was it was um, um, open there. Been, oh, two things happened at once here. Uh, so I'll hold that thought. Uh, Chris is on here. Hi, Chris. How are you tonight? You're ready for the big show. Uh, and we got Vince. Vince is in, in the wings here. Let's bring him in and we'll say hello. Add the stream. There he is. How's it going, sir? Good evening, Vince. Yeah, yeah. How you been, man? I'm I'm doing okay. It's been a busy couple of couple of weeks for me. I'm gonna bring yeah, I've been seeing your Instagram. Man. You're doing some interesting stuff right now. Yeah, I'm I'm going through the process of changing my studio, and I was just talking a bit about that, which is why all this looks different behind me now. I'm in uh, right, I took the, the living room of my apartment. It's slowly converting, so it's not done yet, but it's. Yeah. Um, it's a work in progress, but I got all this set up in time to uh, to do this tonight. So yeah, that's great, man. I'm happy to hear it, man. Yeah. How's how have uh, you been doing? Oh, it's it's crazy, man. Beating yeah. the client off with a stick, you know. <laughs> 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 no, not, nothing like that. But it's just like it's, it's very high demand. It's like it, it, like at the at the one side, it's very fortunate to be you know in the situation where. You know, you got the experience that like your experience is starting to meet like what 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 you what you kind of saw for your career and stuff like that. I feel like that's like the time right. that I'm experiencing right now. But like I didn't realize it's gonna be so mentally exhausting, you know. <laughs> it was like there was so oh, much yeah. going on 
all at yeah. the same time. And I like I'll tell you guys more about it when I like, when Enrique comes in. He used yeah, to be in yeah, the sure. couple of minutes or so. Yeah. But yeah. There's like so so much happened this week, man. It's like circumstances to oh, circumstances. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I, yeah, I hear you, man. I, yeah. And then yeah, I'm gonna be well, yeah, we'll, we'll probably talk a little bit about it as well uh, when we, Enrique gets up there because we're going okay, we're yeah. to Las Vegas. I don't know if he told you um, he, for a couple of days. I said we're going to Las Vegas for a couple of days. Oh, right. <laughs> like start, like from Friday to Monday. Monday. So, yeah. Say that again? No, I seem to remember you mentioning something about that last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went ahead and uh, put that together, man. It's It's going to be a really good time. And um, also, I'm hoping to look at some places out there at, at some okay. point. We got some like downtime because yeah, I've been I've tried I've been trying to move back out there for like a while now. Oh yeah. Right, right now just seems like a really good time. It was gonna be like a couple of months ago, but like it was way too busy, and it's like no way. Yeah. <laughs> what about your work are- now? Can you still can you still do your work out there, or how's that? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like you're probably. Yeah better and um yeah I, I was talking about to like some of the heads of the company and stuff and they're like mm-hmm. you know it might work better for for me like living in las vegas uh just like mm-hmm. times because like our like our company is just it's all work from home and it, it feels like so futuristic to like be able to like work from home and stuff man. yeah it's like a, it's it's such a like great opportunity but like <laughs> yeah it's 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 the hardest i've ever worked also you know is that right so, eh? yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, this is like you, you, you never really like no. It's like it's almost like a be careful what you wish for situation. But like, it's not, it's not bad. You know, it's like oh, this is a little different. It's like oh, I have to like work a little bit more than than I thought. And right. it's like oh, I'm responsible for for these people. <laughs> it's like oh, I got to make sure that this is taken care of before I go to vacation. You know, stuff like that. Stuff you like I I didn't think about before getting in. You know. But I, I guess yeah, that's why, yeah. uh, I guess that's why, and I, I think it's something that you're doing as well, Phil, it's just like kind of visualizing, you know, that like, mm. I, I guess it's more than like visualizing, it's more than like the secret and stuff like that. It's like, you 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 have a goal, and then you get more specific about that goal and like steps, you know? Right, you're like, yeah. Like, say for example, your goal is to make like quarter million dollars per year, like for whatever reason, you know? So <laughs> how much, how, how much money is that per month? You know, how much money is that per week? Right. How are you charging? Like, what are, what are your services? Like, what, what are you selling people? You know, are you charging hourly? Are you charging? Like, are you, do you have like a Patreon? Do you have like a, a group of followers that you have like a Patreon? And you want to show them like your, your illustrations or you want to show them your comic or something like that. You got, you got, you got to quantify it. You know, you yeah, got to make it real. It doesn't happen. Oh, there is. Hey, so what's up? Hey, how's it going? I was in the backstage for a while. Oh, spooky, man. <laughs> I know, I know. I got to turn the lights on. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, it's perfect, man. That's why, that's why I got this on, man. My, uh, my little brother uh, got yeah, me this a couple of Christmases ago. It's uh, Kuma. It's like the Kuma beads. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Oh my god, yeah, I love that. I was noticing that too. Yeah, uh, the anal beads, right? The... <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, you, it's, like, it's it's a full circle. Man. <laughs> um, what uh, what were you guys talking about? Patreon. Oh yeah, we're, well, like it, it's stuff that we always talk about. Enrique is just like mm. if like if you want to achieve something, like. It, it's not quite like visualization. It's like quantifying it. We were like I was using an example. Like you, your your goal, your goal is to make quarter million dollars a year. Like how much money is that in a month? How much money right. is that in a week? Like what are you like right. what what services are you rendering? Like right. for this money, how much do you need to charge for that? How much uh, like if it's content on YouTube, how many mm-hmm. times are you uploading per week? And like right. how long content? You quantify that stuff. My my videos are hour long. I drop one a week, you know, that kind of stuff. You know? How many stickers do you need to sell? Stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many Crocs? How many socks? <laughs> How many Crocs <laughs> and socks? F- Phil, did you did you already start selling those stickers you posted? Uh, I finally just got them in the mail, like like, nice. like uh, a day and a half ago. But um, nice. things have just been like 
wild here. Like as you can see behind me, I'm I'm in the the new spot, and uh, yeah. it's just uh, I can't even like it's just been I've been like nonstop the last few days. Uh, like wow. I'm, I'm I'm actually physically in pain. <laughs> like, oh, wow. My joints hurt. Uh, we had to move out a roommate. I had to move a, a bed and a dresser down here. Uh, today we had got junk that showed up. We had to take a whole bunch of stuff out of the building and in my living room. I've just mm. been uh, moving stuff up from my office today just to get this set up so I can ready to go. I've just been go, 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 go the last few days. Uh, I've yeah. been dealing with shit with, with UPS and, and FedEx screwing up deliveries and making mm. phone calls and screaming at people about that. It's just mm. been... Wow, I've just been on the go. I I just my and on top of that is trying to juggle work. So, I mean, um, uh, did you ever look at that time management thing? Or, uh, did you send me something for that? No, I I mean just generally googling. Like, I I don't know. I don't oh, know. I mean, there's a... oh, I have I haven't yet. No, oh. uh, I mean I maybe I I might. I mean I should maybe once. Bri Brian it. Brian Brian Tracy has a great book that I love. Um, it's actually the link I sent Vince like a long time ago. Uh, it was like a I think it was a YouTube video I sent Vince. It was, but it, that was a... really good. That's still one of my favorite videos, man. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, it was from Brian Tracy, and he has that literally that video, but like in a book form. It's like a two hour, like an hour and a half book. Um. Mm. That was like what from the sixties, fifties, something like that. I think so. He's an old dude, but I think he's still alive. So I don't know how old the book is. Um, yeah, I, I just remember the video like looked really old, but it's like this yeah, this information is still really relevant. You know? Yeah, I think it might have been from the eighties or something. I, I don't think I think I think she from the eighties looks old too. Oh, okay. Now. But um, yeah, I guess that, that time distortion. Yeah, you're right about that. Bill, did you know that guy who died, the Kim Jong Gi? Did you know that guy? I, I didn't know him. Um, okay, the name kind of rang a bell. I have to have to look at some work. I heard he did some he, pretty he, crazy. He, work he's a he's a. Uh, do you know what his work looks like? Um, I have to look at it again. Google I, it. I, I know I've seen it. I just I'd have to see it again. Google it now. Away. Google it now if you can. Yeah. Like <laughs> um, I, 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 I guess to summarize, I saw a tweet uh, today where this uh, this artist uh, she had said. He the way that he draws isn't the way that you're supposed to draw, and I was like, that made a lot of sense because the guy, the guy, like he has like a photographic memory or something like that, and he has like a mastery oh, yeah. of perspective and stuff. Amazing yeah, artist, man, one of my favorite of all time. That was so sad to hear that. Yeah, he was kind of the, the top of the sketching. I I thought side, you know, He's like doing. I think because that's what he focused on, right? He he, yeah. he was like the. Because I remember it wasn't even just what he draws. It was how he did it. Like, he would yeah. demo it. Yeah, that, that was the main thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't put, like, circles, you know, for, like... Uh, yeah, like no no sketching, nothing. No guideline. Like, line. He'd draw um, with just a straight-up pen, man. Like, yeah, the dude... Straight... Yeah, it's it's amazing. He'd pull yeah, whatever was in his mind, and he just put it on paper. It's, yeah, cause, it's cause, the cause, craziest thing I've ever yeah. seen artistically. Yeah, because that's kind of where I first paper. heard of that's that's where I first that's heard about him was it was it's not so much what it was it was like literally the demo and I was like oh I never like uh, this guy's uh, he he learns he learned the rules so good that he he you know you learn the rules to break him kind of thing but he's doing yeah, it yeah, like, even exactly. even more than most professionals do though he does he does not <laughs> put up like a framework at all I'm like what yeah. the hell. <laughs> He's like, what's the matter with you guys? You just do this, and it's like we, we don't understand. <laughs> but he would do he would do crazy shit though, like like the fisheye perspective stuff, but all from his head. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, no I, perspective lines, and yeah. it looked legit, man. And That's, it was good. Like, it was really yeah. It, it, yeah. yeah. If you ever go through his book or, or just a bunch of his stuff, it's, his uh, book was sold out for like a while. You have to be like on a waiting list and stuff in order to get it, and it's like it's crazy, man. Why well, didn't know he was young too? I didn't know he was like forty-seven. Yeah. I thought 47. I thought like the, when he died, I was like, was oh, he must have been older than he he must be older than he looks. But he was like forty-seven. Yeah, that's that's really sad. He was man. supposed to be at the New York Comic Con this weekend too. Um, yeah, I was. I yeah. was told they're still going to have his booth set up and they're going to leave it for people to leave. Well, well, he he that's has good. um. That's a good uh, he he had a thing around. I saw him at um. Well, I I, I didn't like get um. Uh, his books are okay. Everything he sells is really expensive. I did buy something mm -hmm. he had, but like he has a bunch of other artists around him. Like I know there's another artist who's really good named uh, Peter Hahn. Uh, I don't know if you heard of that guy Vince at all. Have you heard of him? Yeah, it sounds familiar. Yeah, he, he's he's he's, he's 
He's ba- I don't know if you guys can hear me. Am I ch- getting choppy? Hello? Mike, Hello? Yeah, he's still here. He can do great. Okay, cool. Um, but, like, uh, Peter Han is uh, kind of like Kim jong Gi Jr. kind of thing. Like, like, he's not as oh, good, yeah. quite, he's not quite him, but he does similar stuff. And he's an amazing, amazing teacher. He, I think he went to Art Center. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. yeah, really good. Really good. That guy does a lot of lives and stuff like that. Does a lot of random yeah. shit, too. Yeah, I uh, love <laughs> but, but I know he was at the booth too. He, he has these people mentoring un, uh, uh, or he, he was mentoring that are at the booth. So I'm assuming they're going to be at the booth, you know? Mm. Cool, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace, man. Yeah. I know. I can't believe it. Like, I, I mean, I, I was going to say, I know Phil, like you're more an animation. That guy's more of a concept art guy. I think, right. I don't even know right. what he is. Illustrator. Right. My, my roommate told me about this morning and I, I was just, I just said my my brain's been in a fog the last few days, and so it's like all day I've been like, I know I've heard that name, I know I've seen his work, and I just need to sit down and look at it again and see it. It's 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 weird seeing somebody die kind of like at the height of their career because that's kind of what it felt like. Um, I mean, he could have gone probably further, maybe I don't know. It was it's bizarre, you know. Like you, I didn't even think it it never occurred to me that he would die because he didn't seem Mm -hmm. very old or even. I think he was like in okay shape too. so I don't know. Yeah, you look like that. Man. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, what what it might and I think he was he was coming back, I think, from a European trip or something like that. He was you only got a heart attack, but uh I mean, yeah. you know, I mean maybe it was a genetic I mean we don't know. We really, maybe it's a ge- genetic thing. I, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Uh but anyways, sorry about that. Sorry to bring it down. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> no, no! I like that. I, I think it's, it's uh, something that happened in the art world. Is something to talk about, I guess. Yeah. How, how, how are you doing, VK? Oh, me? You're asking me yeah. that? What's that? What did you ask me? Something? I didn't hear. I said, "How have you been doing? How's your week? Your past couple of weeks uh, been?" Pretty good. I did a um, kind of a present presentation to my. It's like I did a little, not presentation, but I talked a little bit to a uh, high school class. One of my friends oh, works wow, at a high, wow, right? high school, and uh, okay. uh, I, I kind of like the only reason I, I, I hate it. Well, when they present me, I just feel so awkward because mm-hmm. he'll be like, "Hey, this guy worked on Transformers and the Smurfs," and I was like, "Oh God, <laughs> like you're really setting this up, like, uh, <laughs> like I, I, like I'm somebody, but I'm not." <laughs> so <it's> like, <laughs> <laughs> for space jam too <laughs> yeah space jam too <laughs> oh i forgot about that yeah the shadow yeah. right you're talking about yeah yeah uh, yeah <laughs> sorry uh, phil we have a we have an acquaintance i guess you call it. i don't know some guys on a podcast yeah we're gonna we're, we're, the guys we're going to go see this weekend yeah yeah, yeah. he uh he worked on space jam and he did like a couple of shadows and yeah on oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's it been was... a running joke for over a decade it's like yeah i worked on space jam yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh well i actually did work with uh i worked with a guy who worked on little mermaid uh there's a caricature artist that that was uh i don't know what he did storyboards or something. i can't remember what he did for mm-hmm. little mermaid but i mean he was doing caricatures then and he was terrible so i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but uh he was uh yeah i wonder where that guy is i should look up his full name i don't know where he is brandon gutter uh <laughs> To damn man. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, you, you said what you said. It is what it is. Yeah. No, it's fine. He's not on the internet. Uh, but uh, no, you know, I know he's not on the internet because I wanted to. He logs wanted, in right now. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> well, I, I want I wanted to interview him for the YouTube channel at one point, like five or six years ago, and I was trying to find oh. him, and I got his full name back then, and I looked for him, I couldn't find him. But no, that's too bad. But anywho. How about you, Phil? Is your back okay? Um, the, the back, strangely, the back has been doing all right now. Um, it's everything else that's <laughs> giving me pain. I've got, I guess, uh, I was telling Vince earlier, it's just the past week or so has just been crazy. I mean, we've had, you know, somebody move out, another couple was evicted. We've had to get rid of their stuff. I brought down a, a this whole giant bed unit. Uh, it's just, I've been getting, we had, uh, got junk today that we got rid of stuff. 
Um, and I've just, I've just been physically on the go all week trying to juggle my life plus work. And so I'm at this point where tonight I'm actually physically all my joints hurt. Like, like my elbows hurt, my knees hurt, uh, uh, my shoulders in, is in pain. So I am just like, I'm, I, before I go to bed tonight, I'm going to take some like ibuprofen and <laughs> pass out. I, so and I still got more work to do tomorrow. So. Um, so the back itself, strangely, has been okay, but I'm just I'm burnt out and I'm I'm exhausted. Did you get the Did you get the bed out of there? Or I saw some posts about some bed that you're trying to move. Oh yeah, from. yeah. So the the people that lived above me, um, they were they were evicted, and mm. um, uh, us, but they left this brand new bed. It's gigantic. So I brought it down, but it's, oh, yeah, it's it's the, the frame won't go back together properly. It's got really nice box spring and mattress, but the frame is not reassembling. The properly frame's a monster. <laughs> so it's too big anyways. It's so gigantic, it takes up the room. So I'm just going to get, it has these parts that stick out the side. And I'm like, I, I'm going to eventually get a, like it'll do for now, but eventually I'll just get a new, uh, a new yeah, base I don't for exactly it. So, doing, so I have a little more room, mm -hmm. but. But yeah, so but as you can see behind me, this is the new the new studio. Like this is, is the living room technically, but it's um is turning into into the new studio, and I've got it about halfway done or so now. Wow. So I just have nice. to still bring up more stuff from downstairs. But but I mean, you, you can yeah you go. I got these whoops these installed. <laughs> oh, nice. These. Wait, is that white? Yeah, I like that. I like it that is, a lot. But it it uh, it's perfect it on the phone. It'll change colors. It'll flash. It'll it that's, turns that's, that's what I have. A nightclub. That's what is that's that what what making got? the. Uh, that's what I have. Literally, let's mess with it, man. Let's uh, let, let's see a live demo real quick. Wait, wait. Can you change the color now, uh, Phil? Yeah, that's what I'm doing on on the phone. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's sick. That's awesome, man. And it does. Yeah. Um, if I can find it here. Are you getting light from something else too, or no? There is a there is a lamp over there as well. Just, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. For for me, it works better. You can see it more if you turn off other stuff like later. Like later. That's for like another time. You know. Like. But it'll. Uh... This is great, man. If your spooky season has just begun. Yeah. So it's like perfect, you know. <laughs> and it'll it'll change Come. like get it to change it'll go to beat of music and the and main stage crazy. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so cool go back from green and red it's it's kind of like it's hard to go this i can change the speed on it nice yeah that's put me in like a christmas mood man yeah i was about to yep. say that likes the the red and the yep, green that's for the christmas <laughs> But I just thought for tonight, just a, a static white for if I can find sure, it. Sure, you just you testing stuff out right now, so yeah, that makes sense. They put like uh, uh, like some of the background that says something. I, I mean, if my wall was closer, I would put something that had letters on it. But yeah, just, I try, I tried it. It doesn't work. I would be surprised, but yeah, yeah. So it's. It, it's like I said, it's it's a bit of a process, but I, I've still got the big drafting table that's going to come up in the corner, and a couple more shelves. I've got my big, uh, I got these great big plaque Godzilla posters that I'm gonna I'm gonna put up back here. So, mm -hmm. damn. Mm -hmm. did, did um, what about you, Vince? Uh, how, how's it been with you? Oh, uh, it's been crazy. I was telling Phil, but I was waiting for you to get in, man. Like so. Uh, beginning of the week, like I, um, I was setting up like my new rig and stuff. I had like new monitors and stuff that I had purchased. Um, yeah. Open one of them up, uh, like after I set everything up, uh, it's broken. Like you can only see like a fourth of the screen. It's like, hmm. it's, like shattered. There's like I can see like a dent in it. It was it didn't even see like a huge dent or anything, but like it's it was dented. So I tried to get a return for that. So um, was that transportation? Know. Huh. Was that during transportation? How did it get break? How did it get break? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know when it. Um, I don't know when it got broken, but like I, like long story short, I got a. Re I'm getting a return for it, and I had to return it by like the seventh. So I get into like, like I, I package it back up, put everything back in there, uh, get in my car. Car won't start. <laughs> oh <laughs> and, wow! Yeah, this uh, this happened before. Um, I got like a new battery and stuff like that. I like uh, I went to the. Um, the, the car i think i told you about it Enrique, but like they you know they fixed everything they fixed some stuff that was like small stuff that was going on in the inside so i thought i was good to go and it seems like 
because you know working from home and like especially as busy as it was i didn't really need the car you know i just like do doordash for like meals and stuff like that and i'm just like pretty much home like all the time so i'm not driving a car so i, I think there's something going on with the electrical wiring maybe the alternator or something like that where it's like it's losing charge when it's not driven like on a daily basis or something like that but i'm gonna have to figure that out after the trip you know yeah yeah that's true um, are you are you gonna yeah. um pitch it and uh, well i mean you have the money give the money saved up for another car i mean you, you, i know you do right i mean no i like i really like this car man and also okay. the, the um the repair shop that i take it to i like them as well man they're like the official like hyundai repair shop and stuff so and i'm almost done paying off the car as well so i'm like i you know i just wanted to, I just wanted to work <laughs> you didn't pay the car yet okay so huh? I, I don't know i thought oh, how old is this car 2016 i think Okay, that's not that bad. I, I thought this is like a twenty-year-old car that you're like. No, 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 no. You're thinking about my old, old car, the green one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I'm thinking yeah. of that. Yeah, I, I wrote that one literally till the wheels fall it fell off. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm at right now, man. Like you know, work is still like with all that going on. Like work is still really busy. We got some guys that um, we're bringing in, like graphic designers um, that we hired from India. So I'm gonna have to be like I'm gonna be training them next uh like next week, um wow. probably Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. So yeah, wow, this is like nice. a lot of stuff going on. I'm training like my the 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 team that I have in house on how to do like new stuff. And, you know, have to be available to answer questions and stuff like that. Um, you know, so that they can succeed. So yeah, it's it's just a lot, man. But it's good. Like this this trip is gonna be great. Is that is that we're talking about? How like you're saying like your um, what do you call it? Thinking what were we saying? Uh, what do you call, uh, affirmations or, or I forget you said. Yeah, it like, I mean, like kind of envisioning things by breaking right. it down, you know? bringing in the spirit of a, it, summoning the spirit of Akuma. Like <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, what Akuma is I was going to say that too. Do, do you know that is? <laughs> No, you don't. Know, it's, it's, oh, okay. it's Street, street Fighter. Fighter yeah. Oh, okay. I know. I wouldn't know that. Wait, yeah, if, you Google that like, if, if, if you Google that guy's image, it's gonna make sense. He has these the same necklace. It's huge. Yeah, oh, I wish they. Oh, I wish oh, they were that okay. big, oh, as big okay. as the ones that he actually has. They're like cartoonishly big. I was like, that, that always looked. Good. Um. Well, that's 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 good. Um. Did um. Yeah. Do you, do you guys want me to start talking about the end of the world? I'm sorry, the end of the world of art. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Did you, I, I guess that, really like, I, I think that's really probably like going to be. Wait, wait, wait. So, <laughs> Phil, what do you know about AI art so far? Like, because uh, I didn't know well, very much, to be honest. Not a lot. Uh, I've um, I was talking a little bit about it before before you guys jumped in. I've I've only seen what some other people have done. I know there's stuff online, or you can download a pro uh, a, a program for it if you want. Uh, I've even experimented a little bit with Night Cafe, I think it is, and I've tried punching mm. some things in there, and mm. and you know I've I've uh, well I've seen it get a little bit smarter with what you're typing in. It's still coming out with some crazy funky shit that doesn't make any sense. So it's yeah, I feel like it's, it's going to hit some major roadblocks the next little while. Uh, I I I don't know. I always end up eating my words later but i don't i don't see it as being a major threat did, right did you watch um did you i don't know vince did you watch the uh i know you saw the the thing on corridor cruise instagram mm -hmm. but did you see the video at all that was, that was pretty dope man huh? did, did you see did you, were you able to see the youtube video on it or no i haven't seen that yet no i agree with that so so what what I, like okay so this is i'll just give you a vaguely yeah, i agree I, yeah, what I've I seen. Bring up like, Chris's statement here. I don't know if Chris is still here, but I want to bring this up. I, 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 I agree. I agree. Generally, it's not going to replace everybody, but like I, I was going to say, the updates they made in the last like three weeks on, um, di like, did you see the online comic, uh, the the comic they made entirely with AI? Have you seen that? No, I've, I've seen that. I haven't yet. I've heard you should you should Phil you should Google that. And, just you yeah. should Google that just to see the the pictures of it because it looks hand painted you're like what the hell like it looks mm -hmm. like a human did it um I, of course has some funky stuff just in the sides of it but like someone who's a writer who 
just want still characters just standing there, you know, like because they want like an atmospheric story. Background. They're they're not they're not going to need a guy doing commissions for that anymore mm. if they know how to use Mid Journey. Like they're really not. Like it, they're not going to need someone just stand there. Basically, that's that's what I mean. Yeah. Like um, because I saw this other one where they imitated the style of uh, Mobius. That's another comic one, and uh, right, right, and right. Um, I was like, oh, it's just some it's just dude standing with a cool background. Like, and it was done by AI, so there's no copyright. Some you know? great memes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I was like, okay, that guy doesn't need an artist anymore. You know, it's people mm. like that, which is good, right? A writer can get simple stuff done. Like, you can do simple stuff. Um, so I told Vince this. A year ago, right, we saw the funny generators where you do, like, Garfield taking a crap, you know, like, on a piano, right. you know? And then <laughs> it, and it comes up with these, like, janky wow. slap together. Right. It's great. I love it, man. <laughs> right i saw that stuff a year ago and i was like this is funny i don't care and then um then it, it, got started, better. it started it's it got better and then that guy won the art contest with it did you guys see that yep. yeah that, that. Couple weeks ago. yeah that guy won with an ai generator I, he did it on mid journey um and that right. looked like a straight up piece of concept art from like a movie that that's what it reminded mm -hmm. me of um that piece did you see the piece or I, I did. I can't remember it now, but it seems I did. I was, see yeah, it. I, I was honestly surprised, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, that's when I started getting introduced to all this stuff when that article came out. Yeah. And, and the, the thing the thing where it made me kind of like walk uh, this kind of like the world is being, you know, uh, I was very, very like negative, like we're all dead kind of thing art wise uh, was when I saw Corridor Cruise video uh, and that one. I mean, Vince, yeah. you saw the images from that video, right? Yeah, it was pretty. It, it was it, pretty damn good, man. So what they what they started doing is they made the the mm -hmm. art transformative. So for example, they will you can train the AI. You know, when it comes out all raw, it comes out janky and weird. But you can train it in someone's style. And so what they did was they take like an image of somebody and they say. Train it in, uh, you know, Metal Gear Solid, uh, an artist from Metal Gear Solid who does inking. Yeah, I remember we were talking about they that. They trained it in that guy's style, and it did a drawing that I swear he would have done of that guy's mm -hmm. likeness. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, you can steal styles mm -hmm. with this. If you train it, you can steal mm -hmm. styles all, all the time. And it steals it so well. <laughs> that's, like, mm -hmm. scary. That's when I was getting, like, oh, this is depressing now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. so so anyone that has like a style and I, I i gotta show you this stuff phil i wish i brought it with me but uh it's um you know they'll do like a zombie painting version of him and it looks like a human digitally painted it but it's not it's an ai right. um and th and they're like 60 seconds you know it's like um i i think yeah, when i start turnaround time is really interesting yeah mm -hmm. when i start or, or the backgrounds so that the, i told vince this too that what i've noticed is um the two things it does right off the bat really well is um backgrounds so if you need like cityscape futuristic mm -hmm. but you don't need you don't need anything specific right you so maybe like a, for yeah. the background of a painting or something yeah. uh building it, dystopia you know yeah yeah, yeah dy dystopian background it'll do that mm -hmm. like like as if an art like somebody just did a full-blown you know yeah you know, week long painting right. or something and it does it almost almost perfect because you can move shit around um mm. and so like that it does well and it also does simple items well so for example if you need like a generic sword for a video game and you want it rendered really nice uh it'll do stuff like that really well uh the way the way they've trained it um but uh that's kind of oh okay and i remember the other thing it does portraits really well so if you just want to paint a digital portrait, oh. you, it's like okay. throwing a filter over it, and it does these kind of like, mm. it does these, it it does even the, like the the painterly stuff like well, like really well. It looks mm. like a human did it. Um, and if you ever want to be really scared, go to Mid Journey, <laughs> join their group, which is what I did, and the stuff that non artists are producing is disturbingly good. It looks amazing, yeah, right, like amazing. Right. Yeah, and these mm. are like writers and shit like that, people that that can't draw at all, but they're doing like. Yeah, they're gonna and, and, the most for stuff like this. But but what I the, when I was getting very pessimistic was um they were pumping out like gigantic portfolio style shit and they're pumping out like sixty images in two days or something or like in a day, <clears> and I'm like that's like a whole portfolio like what the fuck you know and they're and wow. this person never drew in their life they just kind of learn to type stuff specifically and you train the AI although you do need a fast computer though I noticed 
Mm-hmm. Um, and you do need you need you need some know how on how to use the program. It's uh, Mid Journey is the main one uh, that I've seen at least. Uh, there's a couple of there's even an app by the way. If you ever want to laugh, go, those are funny. Um, there's an app called Wonder that you can download now because I downloaded it. Um, I thought you were going to talk about Dolly, but okay, Dolly's a good one too. Dolly's a good one. Uh, they're all Dolly's so there's like hearing. Can you hear me? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No. I was oh, gonna okay. say Dolly is the one I keep hearing about. Um, I've just yeah, experimented with Night Cafe. Yeah, Night Cafe, Dolly. There's like five or six. I keep hearing Mid Journey though. The Mid Journey is the one that I was mo- I was most impressed by. Uh, but Dolly's right there as well. I, I don't Mid- know Mid-Journey. what how they work exactly. I mean, the little bit that I've done, I've seen like it. It's made some weird shit. I tried uh, putting in things like uh, Godzilla movie poster. And yeah, I've done that too. Weird, funky thing came out. I tried Godzilla versus Kong and had these two things that were both a cross of a gorilla and a lizard trying to fight <laughs> each other. And it was the most ridiculous looking thing. So, <laughs> so what I've I, I've I've fucked around with mid. Uh, I can say fuck right. Yeah, <laughs> you said it twice. <laughs> I messed around with with a uh, mid journey and like I think right out the gate, you'll get a lot of janky shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like, I think 95% of the time it'll be janky and then maybe it'll come up with one good one. Um, I think what you have to do is you have to train it in someone's style. That's kind of yeah. what people are starting to do. So Apparently you can you also t- start off with a piece of artwork. Like I could put something in and let's say it's just, yeah. it's not looking right, but you can put it in and maybe it'll clean it up or do whatever you need. Yeah. To it, it cleans so. it up. It does. It, it does more than that. They had a, they had a, God, I, I wish I brought exa- Like they had a spooky one where it was like a stick figure of like, <laughs> you know, uh, like a little house and it just it f- looks like a full blown render, you know, like a beautiful painting <laughs> from like a stick figure house. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, so like that's, um, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm not as the more I see. Okay. So my conclusion right now is the way it is now. It's hard to get something specific. Like, but if you just want like general, beautiful art, there's already people doing that. Like they're pumping it out like crazy right now. Yeah. Like they're spamming it too. They're spamming it all over DeviantArt. Um, on that note, like, yeah. on, on that note, Enrique, so, sorry to interrupt, but um, on that note, I uh, I remember on Twitter, I think it was like yesterday, like the best tweet I saw, um, describing this was like, um, they like the art, like some somebody who was like really into this and is like really like researching it and stuff, it doesn't have like any like training with art they were like the like beware artists they were like they were really corny they were like people are artists your your, your day is coming out and in and it's like you like and then the artist chimed in and it was like you realize it's gonna take you a while to get exactly what you want out of this right like probably like two like two or three years or so and they're like no nah, i don't i don't think so <laughs> i don't think so but like realistically like what's really fascinating about this stuff to me is the fact that it's kind of, in a way, it's kind of another art form, I want to yeah. say. Yeah, where I think like, art, I guess, yeah. you're using more like information and you're using more like training uh, as a way to like get these like desired yeah. results. You know, be because, yeah, because because it can even be said like searching for stuff is an art form in a way, you know. If you yeah, if no, you know exactly what you want at this point with us uh, having been using the internet for so long, you know how to go into like Google and search for exactly what you want and have it come up. You know, you know exactly yeah, no. what you need to do to like put yeah. it in there. But then, yeah, like with with stuff like this, um, you have to think about perspective and you have to think about mood and you have to think yeah. about you know. I, I think it's really interesting. What I yeah. don't like about it is how I, I feel like art. And artists are already disrespected and like underpaid. Like oh, yeah. in the industry, you see stories about it every day. You know, this is gonna make that worse, way worse. I, you know, because uh, now you, you like know. these fuck assholes are gonna come in and be like, "Hey, look at this! I made this! Like you, you, you've been doing this for twenty years, and you're yeah, you know, it's not you ain't shit." And it's like that's not true. But people are gonna have that perspective, you know. Well, I, I was gonna say the things it does worse. That, that okay. So, and by the way, this could change in the next year because it's gonna get better all the time. That that's the scary mm-hmm. part. It's it's gonna it's, get better. yeah, it's growing exponentially. And learning. Yeah. So yeah. The, the thing that I'm seeing that I cannot do right now is movement is really crappy. Like like if you wanted to do something sp- like movement, and then uh, a lot of their linear stuff really sucks. I mean, sometimes you'll get good line art, but most mm-hmm. of the line art I saw, even like the best shit, was 
pretty crappy. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's yeah. hit and miss. So if you're like a, a, a comic book artist that does like superhero stuff where it's all extreme poses, I feel like mm-hmm. you're probably never gonna get your job taken. To be honest. Yeah. Um, I just feel like that's so extreme, but uh, I think it does expressions kind of iffy too. Um, on, that, on that note, real on that note, real quick. Sorry, I'm I'm just uh, adding this. When I was doing that search for like the AI and like Wally and stuff like that, there was this article that popped up from 2019. What do you mean Dolly? That, like, not Wally. <laughs> are, are you on Wally or Dolly? But like, there's this article that I clicked on from about uh, 2019 <laughs> where there was an like, AI generated Batman screenplay, and it's being adapted into a comic book. And I'm like oh. looking at images of it, and it's like this doesn't make any sense, but it looks like a Batman comic, though. Man. <laughs> they have like a one page spread. I'm like, this is very, this is very weird. It's a script. <laughs> yeah. What is it? It's a script. No, nah, it's just a one page, like a color page. Oh, I guess they finished it. Oh. I don't know. It looks really weird, though. <laughs> uh, it's like very, very stylized Batman comic, is what it looks. I mean, I, I mean, Phil, I, I should. Uh, I was thinking. Of, I didn't have time to prep. I would have brought stuff, but like, I think, I think if you look more into it, you'll see more and more shit that is scary. You know that they produce in sixty yeah. seconds. Um, or it'll look really good, but then when you start looking at the details and stuff like that, fingers will be off or going the wrong way or like bigger than they're supposed to oh, be. Yeah, like the face is really well rendered, but like the body is kind of like the off perspective or it's like it's kind of distorted a little uh, bit. The, but the, 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 one thing, the one thing I saw yeah. that it did really well that okay, so what scared me more was um, it got a lot of lighting and depth correct. Like you immediately gets like at least a painterly style because you can pick the style. Okay. Like you can pick like, you know, painterly style and it'll get a lot of really cool depth and it. Yeah, you can paint over that. and It'll be awesome. Right. So mm-hmm. they're saying that, and that way it'll be a very great tool. You know, you can have these cool compositions that you wouldn't have thought about. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, what's up? If I can just share just kind of my, my one thought about this that I was thinking about over the last couple of days, mm-hmm. because if you if you commission an artist to make something, I, I mean, you can the AI is just coming up with what it finds and what it can assemble and it'll it'll just basically give you this generic thing as artists we're kind of learned we're we're sort of we're trained to to learn uh all these aspects of art perspective and color and whatnot so you learn all the rules Mm. but as artists we're, we're also creative enough that once we know those rules we also know how to bend them and break them in some cases and come up with something that we can come up very unique where you think first thing that shouldn't work, but somehow it does. And you make it work because you know what you're doing. You have this idea and this vision and you can come up with something very creative and very unique that that's different that I don't think an AI can do. I think AI just sort of takes what you've given it and assembles what you've, what you've described and it'll just make that, that thing. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean? I guess, yeah. Uh, it, it's kind of like the difference between like a creative worker and like kind of like a like a like like a regular like for lack of a better word worker. You need them both. You need you need yeah. them both you know, to run like a, a successful like business or like whatever you, it is that you're you, doing. You, you, def- you definitely need them. I think there's yeah. For, okay, I'm not saying like it's going to take over 100. percent I I, I just think that, oh like, yeah, absolutely not. No. I, I just mean like houses that are gonna have like twenty artists, they can probably narrow that down to like five people, at least from the shit I've mm-hmm. seen. If they just it's a lot of right. backgrounds yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Um yeah. They, they're, they're, people are gonna lose jobs for sure. Like I think yeah. even now they're already uh anybody learning this is like uh because it's kind of a fad right now. I feel like yeah. the AI art. It is, yeah. Um, but but uh I wonder what the transition would be for like some of these artists like it going into like this AI art and like kind of like trying it out and seeing like how successful they are. I'm like I'm I'm interested about that aspect of it. Depends on the field. Know? It depends on the field. I think. I think if you're so, I guess I'm thinking of it from a concept artist slash exactly, exactly, yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Il- <laughs> yeah, slash illustrator. So for concept art, I think you can definitely narrow down like from twenty to five people based on what I'm seeing. Uh, mm. You know, like I just need this back. I need some mountains. Boom! You know, I got mountains. Like you know, beautiful in the style of this, like Miyazaki. Okay, yeah. here's some Miyazaki. You know, mm-hmm. but 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 there. People... Wait. So wait. One thing. So one thing I learned about this is that have you guys heard about the copyright issues around this? I don't know. I'm. This is changing like every day. 
<laughs> to talk yeah. about this. Yeah, it's what, 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 what? So there's copyright issues, meaning like, can you copyright a style? So like even the style that guy Metal Gear Solid, right? Or a painterly mm -hmm. style that's very specifically like, um, you know, I don't know, Norman Rockwell or stuff like that. Can you copyright mm -hmm. stuff like that? Uh, and they were saying, no, you can't really copy a style, like copyright a style. And then they're saying like, I thought, this is what I thought was happening was, I thought the stuff feeding this machine, you know, the AI was other artists pieces, right? And could you say that that stuff is copywritten, you know? But then they're saying it's not for a lot of these AIs they're learning the way we learn and they're reinterpreting it another way. They're just do they're taking what's in the style. They're not piecing together like pieces. Right. They're literally creating something new out of it. That's in the same, mm -hmm. uh, the same style. So it's mm -hmm. transformative. So there's, you can't, I don't know. So it's transformative enough to be, not, you can't like say it's stealing per se. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That was a big okay. sentence, but <laughs> yeah. I, I, I guess we do what you're saying. I like I, I do. This is it's like I don't know. It's really really interesting times, but at the same time, like I, again, my 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 main concern is for artists. Like those, there's definitely going to be lost jobs here, and I, I hope for that sure. for people sure. like who who are kind of like seeing it, like maybe like get into this AI and like try to like kind of understand it because they're going to be hiring people who can like use these programs now. You know, True. like the people with money, they're going to be hiring pr pr people who can use these programs really well, well and like turn out, you know. Yeah, yeah, they're probably going to hard. I mean, the, the truth is, they're probably going to hire an artist who can use this program. Not because if shit like hits mm -hmm. the fan and you don't know perspective or you don't know, like you were saying, you mm -hmm, don't right. know, uh, you know how how the values of certain the things. Basic. I'm supposed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're probably going to hire artists. It's just going to be less of them. I, I think it's still going to be yeah. people are still yeah, going to work. But. I agree. Um, I, I'll tell you this much, though, man. I won't be buying from an AI artist. Like, I won't be, like, buying, like, right. pieces of art. You know? Like, I'll buy that from, like, people who actually, like, create art and things like yeah, that. I might, yeah, I was going to I, I, I love, like, I, uh, by the way, I love the janky stuff. Like, it's, I think it's well, hilarious. Uh, I think it's a uh, great uh, entertainment for like the past couple months you know D download download wonder like on your phone and there i remember i think I, there's this bill cosby one i that came out that made me laugh that i did i'll just see if i could <laughs> i saw um, breaking bad for nintendo 64 man and that's that's the one that got me hooked i was like this is kind of what it would look like if breaking bad was on nintendo 64 at least two I, of those I, images you know <laughs> yeah i i don't I, I you know like i was gonna say i don't know the barrier to entry though because like again you do need a fast computer and some stuff will come out so janky right off the bat, mm -hmm. it's possible. But but I was gonna say again, like I'm I'm wondering like how this is gonna hit like the DeviantArt community because if you just like want a cover for your comic of like another generic ass you know robot and or mountain, mm -hmm. it can do shit like that real easy and make it very yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah. I I mean we'll see. Oh, we'll see how somebody called it Wix. About, like we, we were talking briefly about like you know the furry community because like DeviantArt has like a huge like furry community and like how much that's gonna that's gonna like this this new technology is gonna like affect them as well because you, 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 you something I was like oh that like I I wish you hadn't sent me this but yeah. <laughs> like, it's very it's very well rendered and then you the more you look at it it's like where's its face you know <laughs> Bill I said I said I said Vince um uh, did you see the furry porn AI generator, Phil? No, I can't say I've seen that one. <laughs> uh, well, because you, don't you live with a? I thought your roommate's a furry, no? Um, the, the one who goes to the conventions, yeah, he's. I, I don't know. Uh -oh. he's okay. one, he definitely goes maybe, to the conventions. But yeah, he's familiar with him. Maybe maybe he heard about it, but the, they, they had a furry porn generator from an AI. Um, it was uh, yeah, a lot of janky janky shit came out <laughs> but uh but somebody started spamming it because you can produce it every 30 seconds and they were they uh i believe fur affinity which is like the biggest uh furry website uh forum they banned ai art because they kept spamming it like because you can make so much of it mm. oh wow yeah, okay. like, you said like linden what's with Lin did linden say anything about this linden's, linden's our uh our friend who's also a furry yeah, that's our that's our furry oh. friend. He uh did not hear he never heard about it actually. Um so but I did show him that article and really? he thought it was I, I, yeah, that's really interesting that he the, hadn't the heard about it. The, the the faces, by the way, so the, the face gen like if it's just from here to here for like a furry character, they look mm -hmm. straight up like good like finished human really uh, digital. 
like the yeah. bus, the, the yeah. bus deck. Area yeah, yeah just like just like right here, they have on a generator. It looks like if you ever like Google, uh, this is not a persona. Persona mm. means like persona, but furry persona. Yeah, like, I don't know uh, what it okay. means. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to like whatever. Anyway, but, <laughs> but uh. <laughs> If, if you ever Google that, they have all this artwork and AI made, and it looks straight up like a human, like painted. It's all like faces, but they look perfect. Uh, most of them. But like, how do you like? What can you do with that right now? Like, what do you do with like? I mean, I guess for kind of concept or something, or I don't know. There, there's a there's an application there, but I feel like it still needs a couple more years, maybe before it's I mean, a real like mm -hmm. threat. I want to say. I, th like, I, th I think that. The, the people that are worried about this stuff, including myself, are more worried about two years from now. I, I'm not even that worried about right now. I'm more worried about two years from now when it got, becomes more accessible. You can have a slower computer and still run it. Um, mm -hmm. Easier direction. Uh, you know, well, the, the, you know, the biggest worry people have, and I heard this, but this might be, you know, like hyperbolic, um, will be because people are sp the people that are producing it that look decent, like the decent generated stuff to really good. Um they are spamming the shit out of it right now <laughs> on DeviantArt. No, really? They're worried that, that that's at the rate it's going now, that it will overflow like human art because there you can, again, it produces in 30 seconds this shit. So like, like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like people are going to get tired of that. I would get tired of that pretty quickly. I feel like, you know, but you won't be like able to maybe tell every once in a while you're like, oh, that's an interesting idea, you know? Dude, yeah. I could show you, I could show you the Discord server I'm on for uh, Mid Journey, and you wouldn't be able to tell like uh, uh, AI did that or a human did that. Some of these people already honed it, you know? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if somebody set up the game. That'd be fun, man. It's like, did the AI do this or did the human do this? You know, that'd be kind of a, a fun game to play. You know? I, well, well, right now, right now it's basically. And then you beat the like, <laughs> Somebody, somebody, somebody compared this because I actually talked to somebody on Twitter a little bit as well, and uh, somebody com he compared it to uh, Wix, but for art, you know, like Wix, uh, Wix? like you just like your okay, yeah, program, yeah, you know, what Wix is Squarespace Wix, no. do do Wix for making no. websites. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, but I'm saying uh -oh. like you, you, like before you had to be. A I, program, I, oh, okay. right? I know what it is. I never used it though. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, before you had to be a programmer or a design, whatever, to make a website. Now you got Wix, which is like a click in. You can make a very basic uh, right. w website yeah, without being phone. a programmer, you know? Um, so maybe right. it's something like that. You can make a very basic, generic background if you don't have any specifics. Uh, like if it's like know, a really like simple style or something like that, yeah, I could see that being useful. You know, a useful yeah, tool. watch 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 a Jazz's video on it because he goes over exactly. Yeah. Uh, he 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 does he does a really good video and it came out uh, a month or two ago on um, AI versus people from Fiverr. You know, he gave him the same okay. prompts. Um, All right, and the AI did I think better on one of them, and I think I can't remember the results. Anymore. What's up? Hmm. I'm sorry. Say, somebody say something. Sorry, I, I started the video. I just paused it right now. Sorry oh, okay. Um, but uh, yeah, he 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 goes over each challenge or something like that. I know the AI won the first one real easily, and then uh, I think the next two, I can't remember the results, but I know he talked about who this is gonna affect, and I, he's pretty much the same thing. Like inanimate objects, mm -hmm. you want them well rendered, it's gonna render mm -hmm. it like it's a Do like it? a real painting, yeah. you know. Uh, but I wouldn't, you know, it's funny the people that least have to worry about this are probably people like you, Phil, because I feel like your style is like specifically linear and like animated. Uh, I just feel, yeah. I feel like it'll affect you very little. I feel it'll affect even Linden very little unless the furry thing does better. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll see, you know, it's like, like, you know, when something like this happens, when there's like a kind of like a technological breakthrough, it's like kind of a natural human nature to be like, well, this is the end of everything. <laughs> You know, I, I, I've never been like that, honestly, before with other stuff. I'm like, eh, it's fine. It's cool. This is the first time where I think the more I looked in that corridor video, the more I looked at how it could well, take people's styles and do them like, almost exactly. What's up? Yeah. I guess it's like photography. Like the, the, when, when photographs first started coming out, artists thought for sure they were out of work. And some of them did. Like people who are hired as, as portrait painters um back before photography you know and they were hired specifically to capture likeness for for political figures and and um 
you know, for um, royalty and that kind of thing who could afford a painter who would do these incredible lifelike images. And once photography came along, they, that wasn't, they were needed anymore. The photographer would capture them perfectly. But artists still didn't go out of work. You know, the, the next True. year we had, you know, you had um, uh, abstract work and, and things like that, that that were all very unique to, to paint. Uh, I, I think that's the interesting thing about art, too. And I, like just to touch on it a little bit, Phil, it's like, you know, art is like creative, you know, and like a, a lot of artists, especially like successful artists know how to like kind of pivot, you know, like business wise or maybe mm -hmm. like artistically or they can see, you know, like kind of what's going on. Or they're just like, OK, like I have my I have my fan base, like I'm going to yeah. keep what I'm doing, you know, and like it's it's just going to be what it's going to be, you know. So it, it's, it's going to be really interesting to see it play mm -hmm. out, though. For sure. I, I think I think a more. uh I was thinking more of when um, I told Vince this too on the phone uh, when Instagram came around, you know, like everyone had filters. You can make stuff pretty now. Everyone's a photographer. Mm -hmm. Everyone, everyone mm -hmm. had access to it too. Yeah. Um, that's that, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit here just because some of the programs are either free or cheap. I don't That's another thing, by the way, like some of these things are free <laughs> where I was yeah. like, this would be different like if, thing. like, if Adobe, like, if Adobe broke it and, like, it was $800. Adobe it for sure. There's, like, 100% accuracy. <laughs> Adobe is going to get a piece of this, you know? Oh, yeah. Something's good. Well, legal. I'm more interested in the legal. But, well, I'm not more interested, but I'm also interested in the legal. Legally, what's going to happen? Are they going to regulate the shit out of it? Or, or what's going to what's gonna occur with that? Um, I don't know. But those are uh, gonna buy it and they're gonna increase their monthly subscriptions by five hundred percent. And there's nothing that you can do about it. <laughs> I, I don't know if you could patent that technology. I mean, I guess somebody could you patent that technology? That that is so confusing. I don't even know if you could, right? Yeah, there's uh, there's so many legal issues with that. But you have like you know, you have those sites where you can like buy art elements, you know, like a free pick or you know, true. like I shop photo and all those like like mm -hmm. there's a ton of sites that you can go to and just like buy people's artwork for like a monthly fee, you know. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's I agree. I was gonna say that they they talked about a couple. Of, uh, another thing it would kill was um there's this um sometimes on Etsy they sell patterns. I don't know they have different websites with that patterns, uh, yeah. like for wrapping okay, paper. So. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's yeah. dead. That 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 there's some part of mm -hmm. I think Mid Journey that produced those things like instantly mm -hmm. like that that's going to be dead i could They're see the patterns being very easily replicated what 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 big publication is using a uh they said they think it'll replace stock photography because uh it can produce certain photos that look real but they're not real uh mm. oh, oh that i didn't think about that that's really interesting mm. yeah they said they think stock photos will, will die out in the next like five or six years uh mm. because th i think one magazine is already using one i can't remember like for their publication, they're they're using AI generated stuff now. Uh, what else? I, I I had another thought. Hold on. This is I, I, okay. Do you know what photo bashing is? No. What's photo that? bashing. Uh, yeah. Cosmopolitan. This actually looks pretty cool. Photo. I know I've heard that term, but photo bashing is uh, some that came around in concept art. So, for example, uh, you do like a painting, like a digital painting, but then you're like. I don't have time to do the background here. Like, I'm just going to throw in a photo and then just kind of match the color as well as I can. Oh, oh I see. And, okay. Yeah, match the level. Of de it's it's essentially <laughs> cheating. <laughs> but, I mean, when you're in production, you want to just get that shit out fast. I remember that's kind of what it reminds me of a little bit. But the difference was with that, you would still have to figure out the the lighting, the composition. This one, right. These things can take compositions, like, and just, boom, make it, like, perfect. That's the one thing mm -hmm. I noticed. It takes a lot of the work out of that for atmosphere at least so anywho my 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 mm. <laughs> am i worried yes is this over mm. no i don't think so <laughs> but i'm yeah. very but i'm seeing mm. a lot of artists right now online going like oh no i can't do this and i'm just like i don't know i'm looking you guys should be on the forum i'm on right now i'm literally scrolling through shit that looks like <laughs> the best shit on yeah. deviant art what like forum? right now <laughs> It's it's on it's on Discord if you join the uh, mid journey. Discord. Yeah, go, do you have Discord? 
I, I still have it on my phone, but I hate it. I still don't understand it. I need somebody to walk me through that. I it's just a it's just a chat basically. But if you go if you go through like the um, they have a uh, a big one for Mid Journey, and then I joined it. And you can just see a lot of the top ones, and it's like it looks like the best shit on DVNR, the best shit on uh, oh, yeah. what? Yeah, it looks like the like people that have really honed it, you know, like. Mm. Uh, but they honed it really damn fast. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I don't know how many of these people are artists. That's another thing too. I don't know what they're doing to it. So maybe. Right. Anywho. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm really interested in. Is like artists like messing with this stuff, you know, with that perspective, you know, like yeah. the, the stuff that you could teach in AI. Right? It's like it's pretty crazy, <laughs> you know. Can I say something <laughs> volatile here, or uh, um, <laughs> What's I? That? I think if you, I think if you don't know how to paint or draw a perspective or any of that, and you get beautiful images from typing in prompts, I would never call you an artist personally. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, I would agree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because people were fighting about that a lot on Twitter. Holy shit! Well, because right. you can type in some words, and something a device still makes it for you. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I guess because they say you have to hone it a little bit more. You have to type in like this long ass paragraph and do. And I'm like, I don't. You're still. I wouldn't call you an artist a any more than I would call that Wix guy, like whoever uses Wix a programmer. I would never call that person a mm -hmm. programmer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's why I said I would I would never buy like AI art. I would never knowingly buy AI generated artwork. You know, yeah. I'd want to buy it from like actual artists, you know, who's, who spent that time. You know, even if it's like digital art and stuff like that, you know, if, like I have my favorite artists with like a favorite style and stuff like that. Like, I want to buy from them. You know, I want to support yeah. them, you know? Yeah, this is where I think social media is a really great thing for artists uh, because people people buy art from an artist because they really like the artist and they want to support that mm -hmm. artist. They want to buy their work. You watch some of them do demos of something on online and they make it from by hand. They pull out some Copics and some inks and they make this this beautiful image. And then, this, then they say, I'm going to sell some prints of this. And if you like that, if you like that artist... Mm -hmm. uh, and you've been following them, they're going to want to buy something that you've made by hand, that you physically put something into it, and they'll support them because they like to support that artist. So I think, I don't know, I just think that's where social media is is really a good a good venue for artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I think I, I yeah I don't even know too many. Well, yeah, I don't know if any artists that are not putting their work on social media in some way. <laughs> right. Right, one of the true. It, if it gets if it gets worse, I was telling Vince this is gonna send me back into like uh, traditional only or something. <laughs> no, it's, like, it's, it's like there's something that people will still like about that physically made thing. The, the, oh, somebody's put their that's, effort that's, into it that you know that I can yeah. put a pa pencil to a paper and make something that's another person who's not an artist is just like I can't. I don't understand what, how you did that and. And but to them it's magic, right? To us, we know what it is. We know how perspective works and how how to draw mm -hmm. something to make you know to make a line drawing look three dimensional. Right. Yeah. You know how to do that. Perspective. Somebody yeah. who doesn't, that's like you get the line. I can't even draw a stick figure, and it's yeah, they can't. Their brain doesn't work that way. Their head doesn't mm -hmm. think in those terms. Their 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 life and the who they are, what, whatever, is, is something else. And so when they see an artist do something to them, that is. They we're like wizards to them. <laughs> we just put it down and yeah. There's there's a great video where some guy was talking about why people. I mean, I don't know if I was mad as much as uh, people on Twitter. I, I don't. I don't. You know, like you saw a lot of artists like mad, like really mad online. But uh, I think I was more just kind of like, well, this is the end. I think I was kind of like that more. Like, well, like, well, you know what? It's a great. I, I think somebody described this really well. That artists sometimes tend to be very introverted, and uh, mm. and uh, it's kind of like for them, you know, they they develop this skill over time, and now to, you're kind of taking that away when you go like on a filter and you just go bam, and it really looks like now it looks mm. like good shit, you know, where filters used yeah. to look like ass, uh, at least to make them look like art pieces. I mean, mm. um, yeah, so I would like, love uh, uh, seeing pieces on uh, Twitter. Where um, somebody do like fan art or some of some like celebrity or something like an athlete or something like that, and it's like I drew this of you, and it's like a filter, like a comic book filter <laughs> from Photoshop of of one of their photos. I'm like, what are you doing, man? It's not fair. Well, people, 
Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> go on Fiverr. Go, go on Fiverr.com. There, that, uh, watch that jazz video. That's literally what yeah. they did for some jobs. Yeah, like the right. Fiverr guy. All right, that, that's interesting. Like, yeah, I got it pulled up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch that. Uh, yeah, he, he did like a. He, yeah, he did. He pulled up. Uh, there's a lot of scams on Fiverr though. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he was like, "That's weird. That looks sure. like a photo that someone threw a filter over." <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite things uh, I saw last night. It was um, they took the artwork for uh, Virtual Fighter Two, like the the square artwork and stuff and then they um generated into like humans it's like some of them are okay. super creepy man <laughs> oh wait 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 they, they, did, they did that with ai they, so they uh they took the images from uh virtual fighter 2 like the characters yeah you know you know about yeah, yeah. virtual I, I know you're talking about, yeah um like uh like kage the ninja you know yeah they uh and they they took his like his sprite or his like 3d you know, structure or whatever, and they they put it through one of these programs and made it like generate like human. Like they gave him really human faces, but like the, the all the, like the features and stuff like look really bad. It looks like very like play, you know. It looks like yeah. kind of like P3 graphics. I want to say if I find it, I'll send it to you guys because I okay, thought it was yeah. like really. Yeah. I thought it was like both really interesting and like really good for a laugh because like. Yeah. Um, in in the game, you know, it's a fighting game, so they're like, yeah, you know, it was like really fierce, like looks on their faces. And then yeah. when what generated, it just like it looks so fake. It's just like this, like it looks like bad actors, <laughs> you know. Like I think that's the best way to to describe it. So it, it's really interesting this stuff, man. Like yeah, I like I... this side of it where it's like when it's like used for like jokes to so, like put yeah. this like absolute like crazy. Like stuff on the play, you know, like SpongeBob pancakes. I saw that. I was like, wow, you know, that's kind of yeah. crazy, you know. I th- I think when they when you try to reverse engineer, I've seen that experiment too. Like, hey, I got a painting of this. Can I reverse engineer it by what would I have to type in to get as close as I can to this? And those come out super funny. Those come out mm. really really funny. I oh, think. Yeah. Uh, like, I know you're talking about the Godzilla stuff, because that's why I typed in the wonder. You know what I mean? It's like King Kong with an extra arm around the back of his head. Yes, like, what yeah. the hell? I, <laughs> I, was like, I, did, I tried uh, Godzilla versus Megalon once to see what it would come up with. <laughs> and it, it had no idea what Megalon was. It had something that resembled a sort of Godzilla lizard shaking hands yeah. with a Japanese guy. <laughs> teach me I'll have to send on. you that one or I'll put it on, on Instagram or something but yeah uh, yeah I um if you really want like I said you should check out wonder like I I love that app yeah. because to be honest it's so primitive wonder, you have to uh, remind me that later. I don't yeah. have anything to write down on right now oh it's just called it's just called wonder like wonder you know it's like the word wonder uh it's it's yeah. funny. I put in some Steve Urkel prompts. I thought that was really like it comes up with this really generic face that is not Steve Urkel. I don't know. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, like like I said, right you now I'm not right in the background. You know. Yeah, like uh, like I said, right now I'm not panicking that much. People are still gonna cut shit up. It's mostly gonna affect production, I think, in the next mm-hmm. few years for sure. Yeah. It's never gonna take like I, people I, just I was gonna ask you about that, man, because like I'm in the print industry. Do you know? Anything about like how how big the size of these can be? Can they be like any size that you want them to be? Can it be like billboard size and stuff? I don't know enough yet. I'm I still wonder if like around. it would take longer to like generate something of like that size, you know, or would it be the same? Because I'm looking at this cosmopolitan, oh. and I like I actually love it. I think it looks fantastic, you know. It's yeah, like, I, hey, I generated. Really- Huh? Let, me, let me let me look that up. Which what are you looking up again? Uh, I put an AI generated magazine cover, and Cosmopolitan came up. It's like Cosmopolitan, and like this like bright green, and it's like an astronaut. Um, seems like a, the female shape, like a shapely like. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks clean, man. I'm like, yo, that that's, was clean. That's dope. like I would put that on my wall. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if it came out like that, or they cleaned it up, like uh, because it looks. Like, I don't know. Really clean. Are you, I'm kind of interested to, to read the article now, though. Yeah, that looks really clean. Uh, like, even when I zoom but in. Then I, I, I could zoom. just hire an artist and be like, hey, like, draw me something like similar to this. <laughs> it's pretty. Because like to me, f- like, this, uh, this whole argument about, like, um, who is and who isn't an artist? It reminds me a lot of like the NFT conversation. Oh man! Um, yeah. Where 
Some like people are so proud. Like I bought the, the receipt to this image. Like this image is mine, and I can go copy and paste. And it's like, yo, that's my image. And it's like, yeah, it's my image now because <laughs> I copy and paste it. You know? <laughs> Have you seen? Like I've seen so many memes. Like especially like earlier in the year, because it seems like the whole NFT thing is like kind of dead now. Yeah. But um. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's. Oh, yeah. not, I mean, I, I've still seen some stuff, but like you know, there's Mostly always gonna dead. be dead. Yeah. Hangers. You know, but but regardless, uh, I've seen a lot of like those memes where somebody's like bragging about having bought an in, in, like an uh, NFT with like crypto coin, like you know this is the sequel to like two hundred forty thousand dollars, and then like somebody's like it'd be a shame if uh, somebody stole that from you, and then the next post is they they change their profile picture to like the NFT and stuff like that, you know? It's like how did you? How did you not know, I, man? Like the internet will always like be the wild one <laughs> when it comes to like like art that was and like stupidest, and stuff like that. That was one of the dumbest things I ever. I don't know what you call it. I, I don't know. That was one of the, I never bought it. it. I never, I never bought into that, and it's already what like ninety for ninety percent deflated of what it used to be, mm-hmm. right? Back in the hype, and I, I, I think it was just people trying to make money off it because Eugene was mm-hmm. one of those guys. My friend Eugene likes making money. That and, makes sense. Uh, yeah, he never, he never thought about buying one, but he thought about maybe buying one to resell and try to make. It felt like everybody I talked to was like that. Oh, can I make money off this? And like, who's, who, you know, if you buy one just to have one, you're probably a sucker, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I think. But, you, uh, how I, much do you know about NFTs, Phil? Not really a whole lot. I've I've heard the basics of how they work and and whatnot, but it's, it's very confusing. That, it still kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, I yeah, don't, same, and same. I don't. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't like them and don't like. Mm-hmm. But those have really yeah. gone away, though. Those, 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 like ten years from now, I don't think that's. I mean, yeah. if they still exist, I think they're. Gonna it's going to be an interesting one. documentary in like ten years for sure. It's like like a Ponzi scheme kind of. I, I don't know. It's like a big old. Yeah. Feel, feels like a big old scam to me. But um, you know what's gonna be more interesting? This is what I hear a lot about too. Is when they're the videos that are gonna come out. The A the AI generated videos because they said that's right around the, like really right around the corner. Like maybe they said within the I've next seen, like year. I've seen some. I've seen some horrifying shit. Man. <laughs> it's a really wait. Funny. They have one already. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna talk about that a little bit, man. Because uh, you that? know how I like uh, I like wrestling and stuff. Um, yeah. There, I, I forget. Like, if I find a video, I'll, I'll send it over to you guys. But there's, um, oh my god, this exists. It's like I think it's like cultaholic wrestling or something like that. They they did an AI generated episode of like Monday Night Raw, and like the voices and like the images they use, it's, it's hilarious, man. I'm like, what the hell? This has <laughs> such a long way to go, man. But it's funny, man. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you know, I love that. Like, I love like the, the B movies. You know. Yeah, <laughs> same. Like, I'd, be, I'd be more excited to see like the room than I would be for like a blockbuster or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna go that far, but I mean, yeah, I do video. like B movies. <laughs> yeah, I do Black Panther. I want to see Black Panther. I, like, I don't want to see. Theater. I don't yeah, want to see I, Great yeah. Great Panther. I, with I would leg. The thing is, we're getting closer to like like those Star Trek holodecks. It's just <laughs> yeah, man, dude. When teleportation happens. It's over. Oh, that's, <laughs> the yeah. airline industry is done for. <laughs> I, I heard. I heard that's never going to happen. Have you heard about that? Probably won't. I mean, because, the amount uh, of power that it actually takes to actually do that well, is also, so astronomical. That... Well, I also heard it has to. Um, you, you have to come apart at a molecular level, and if you you're basically taking you apart and putting you back together, but doesn't mean you can be the same that. person. Even if you're yeah. there, you might just be dead straight up because they took you apart yeah. and put you back together. I know. Oh, it sounds like an AI generated like sci-fi <laughs> story. <yeah. or> something. <laughs> I, I think. I think what's. I mean, I, 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 it's probably more like Futurama. You know, where they suck you through a tube. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the suicide booths and stuff like that. Um, what, what, yeah. Uh, sorry, what were you saying? Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. That was. Uh, yeah. But the, the, like the stuff is. Uh, <laughs> the stuff is really funny though, man. Yeah. You know? To me, yeah, um, I, I, um, we'll see what the future holds. Like I said, I, I, yeah, we'll see. I, like I said, I, I like the stuff I'm seeing for now, you know, and it's only been like 
a couple of months, <laughs> you know, or really two weeks since this last update. The stuff I'm saying now, I'm like, oh man, two years from yeah. now, like that's that's my main worry is, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the stuff I love to paint will be like, oh, an AI can paint that shit. At least, you know, if you're using digital, mm. you know, if you're using I mean, you can still paint it paint. though. Like, like I, I think the key word though is like you love to paint it, you know, because that's like the essence of art is like doing something that you really enjoy. But, 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 you know? but come on, you also like appreciate other people appreciating it. That's part of it. I mean, I, I mean, that sounds yeah. Like, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not downplaying that part at all. But like, mm. you know, like, there's a lot of situations where you really like, say you really like drawing and then you become successful and then you don't have time for that anymore. You don't have time for like drawing <laughs> or like conceptualizing and stuff like that. And it's like, fuck, dude, I need to, like, I want to go back to that like, original feeling of like you creating and yeah. stuff like that. You know? It happens. I guess that's a part of like the success, you know? I do, I do know that um, from using this thing, it kind of gives me a feeling I accomplished something, even though I didn't do a damn thing from the, mm -hmm. the generator, mm -hmm. uh, at least the ones that turn out okay, you know? And I've heard that sentiment. <laughs> well, I heard that sentiment from Twitter, right? Like I heard, I heard that sentiment on Twitter. Some guy was really mad. He's like, what, I'm an artist? I'm like, no, you're not. I didn't say that in my head. I mean, I said that in my <laughs> head. I, I don't argue on Twitter, I don't give a fuck. But like, yeah. you know, it's like, are you crazy? Like, like, that, that's the interesting thing, man. As an artist, yeah. like to to these guys who claim that they're artists, like, what's the conversation, you know? Like, what are you talking to them about? Like, what's the, like, I'm sure there's some commonality there at some point, like, in terms of, like, fandom or, like, you know, like, interests and, in, like, TVs or, or shows or, like, whatever it is. But, like, mm -hmm. in terms of, like, you know, like, really knowing, like, the basics and the perspectives and foreshortening and coloring and layering and, like, you know, even, like, writing and, like, you know, cropping like the lettering and like you know, designing lettering basically like there's like so yeah. many these like elements that like a as an artist like there's like a thousand things that you could be you know right like I think wears mini hats you know at any given time Is it mini you know? hats what's a mini hat mini hats mini hats what's tons that? of hats what are we talking they have, about? Like, a lot oh, of jobs. Oh, many hats. I thought you were talking. Okay, I yeah. don't know why I misunderstood that. What, what did you think I said? <laughs> I, I don't know. I thought you were talking about some weird device called a mini hat. I'm like, what's a mini hat? You're saying <laughs> many hats. You're saying, okay, I, got it. I get it. Yeah, many hats, you know? Like, at any given time, you're like a writer or you're like, you know, you, you, you're you taking like a leadership role or something like that. You're like, you're training people or, you know, you're, you're drawing or you're conceptualizing artwork or, you know, you know, script writing, you know, or you're playing the piano, you're playing like the drums or something like that, right. man. You're making a beat. There's so many like avenues and you use so many parts of that throughout any like given day. Are you talking to people? You know, are you like, you're, like social artist? You know, you, you know how to like, you know, get things out of people or you know how, you know, part of like the social experiment, like impractical jokers, that kind of stuff, you know? There's art in that as well, man. So there's like so many of these like really interesting. Like creative there's, there's, aspect. There, there's definitely yeah. there's definitely um, levels of effort though to a lot of that. I think you know some people mm -hmm. do it way more effort than others. You know, uh, mm -hmm. so I mean, I, I mean, just to kind of like, you know, one like you know, because I know I'm rambling about this just to try to not <laughs> like I we talked about typing and they're saying well typing is an art and I'm like yeah but it's not as you're not putting the same amount of effort into that as you're you like know, typing in particular. Well, what's up? Like typing well, in particular, or are you well, like, I, like, I, I guess, like I, I guess writing the, on people have, the people I've been seeing online that type very, very specific ass prompts and like modify them to create an image they want, you could call that an art. It's just like nowhere near the exact same level of effort somebody would be to actually paint that shit, you know? Yeah. 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 That, that's I what agree. I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, so yeah, I mean, I, when, I, when we they completely agree there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, anyways, <laughs> fun shits. It's going to tear the internet apart for a while. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, getting these jokes off, did man. You, I love it. Did, did you guys I, see Elon Musk's robot? No, what? <laughs> I know. No? I, I for briefly, for a moment, I didn't get a chance to see much of it, but is that the one that's oh, up walking with a around? robot? I, I think it looks crap. I mean, Boston Dynamics robots look way, way, way better, and they do like yeah, flips how, how have they been building this? I don't know. I don't know. But I saw the presentation. I'm like, this looks like, uh, I don't know, 20 years out of date. Or I don't know. I just thought it looked really crappy. It's like 80s. It's like uh, some 80s shit, man. 
<laughs> yeah, I was like, this, it, they said this will be on the market oh, like dude. in a couple of years or five years. I'm like, that's not going to happen. Is it? Like, yeah, but yeah. they not like do stuff around like can clean your house and shit or something. I don't know. But they already got like Roombas and shit for that. I don't know. Like, I know. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I just saw that. I thought that was. Funny I gotta see were... it, man. Yeah, like for some reason the site's not working, but I'm gonna look that up on YouTube later. Well, yeah, you know, I'm not. I'm not and I'm kind of got the mood and stuff. I, 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 I don't know. I'm not an engineer. If I could open up. Yo, you, you haven't seen it yet. It work. I'm not an engineer. I don't know. Wait, I don't know how. It, works. it just looks like a humanoid. No, no, no. I mean, like how, like how realistic does the movement look? Is what I meant. It's yeah, yeah. Speak, I mean. Yeah. It's a dude. Boston Dynamics are way better. Those robots are like the Boston yeah. Dynamics robots. Those, those, they're the ones with the terrifying dogs, right? Like the yeah, those, yeah. Those like, those actually scare me. Like the way they move yeah. around, you're like, holy crap! They like that's that needs to be in a horror game immediately. <laughs> yeah, those scare yeah. me. But this yeah. one looks lame. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Phil. Do you have like, like, something I, else that you want to mention? Mm-hmm. Oh no! I was just trying to say I, I was. We guys were talking. I've been looking here to see if there was a way I could show an image or a photograph. Yeah. On, on the thing, but I can't uh, unless I do. Uh, oh, unless, cool. unless I can monitor and you open it at a different screen, and then I can share the screen or when you can oh, share okay. the screen. That way I can do it. I have to but like. I don't know. Yeah, I was wondering yeah, about yeah, that. What's your, what's your setup is complete, man. You're gonna be doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, because I can oh, do I- a share screen, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, like, um, hey, how, how was I saw that thing you did a week ago? It was like you got a bunch of people to draw, right? That looked neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, oops, there, oops, that wasn't what I wanted. Sorry. <laughs> what? I'll get uh, into that no. in a minute, but that was. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. You could, done... <laughs> you could have done this the whole time. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Godzilla versus Megalon when I tried to put that in, and that's what it came up. With. Phil, Phil, look, look up the look up the AI comic. Uh, just type in uh, AI generated comic book. AI generated comic book. Yeah, because there's there's two out there. Well, there's two ones that that keep coming up. I'm sure there's there's a few now, like probably, but uh, let me see. I think I saw that that crystal looking one. Or oh, and that goat, the goat one. The goat one was the one that surprised me because it looked real painterly. That's what I'm looking that? at. This one, that's yeah, still that one. messed up. Like it's... there's noses in its neck. Like that... no, that, no, no, no. Wait, that's 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 wonky. But I'm saying like the girl's face. It's really it looks oh, painted like yeah. by a human. Uh, and and even that goat looks painted, but it looks like shitty. Um, <laughs> but that's what you need. That's why you need an artist. Even to, like, for this view, yeah, yeah, it's pretty yeah. bad. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty bad goat. Uh, but the, I I was more with her face. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. This is uh, I think it here, right? These are whatever. They, they, I've seen you know I've read comics that look like this though. This one, that right? Works. Like you've seen I've seen stuff that look just like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, what's another I one? I see what? artists using this, like using this tool. It's like sweet. Like this makes my job easier. I can oh, I yeah. can like. It is like I can render real like uh, renders this realistic face. That's my character. I, I'm gonna change the hair. You know, I go to Photoshop, digitally change the hair, whatever. Yeah. Drop her in the comic book. Like now, now that I have the specs, like I can have her in like all these like perspectives. You know, I have him like like running around oh. like I'm rich to do, or just like you know all these like expressions and stuff like that. Man, I can see a lot of artists like using this technology. I heard um the um. I forgot. I was gonna say, "Damn it!" Uh, hold on. I forgot. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say really quick. I think I don't know if I. I think I posted on Instagram because the first time I I, I actually tried something with with to do movie. I tried to do Star Trek movie poster, <laughs> and the wonky faces with these expressions. I couldn't stop laughing for like ten minutes. <laughs> I think I posted it on my Facebook or my Instagram. Oh my god, it was funny. Yeah, I, I thought, but when I saw that, I thought, no, we're nowhere near this yet. This is just messed up. Go, go, go to um, I would say type in um, find it. Best of Mid Journey. Best of Mid Journey. Yeah, Best of Mid Journey, and then go to like uh, the images. There's a few good examples here of what, uh, like some simple stuff. What I was putting in before I even finished. All right, explore Best of Mid Journey Deviant Art. Oh well, I mean, I put it into Google. No, not DeviantArt. I just put in "best of Mid Journey." Mid Journey is a program. Oh, okay, Mid- uh, that was one of the responses it came up with. But all right, just going to That's images. Funny. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. Can you put it on the screen so I can see what you're looking at? Yeah, yeah. Hold so we can on. see some of these together. Uh, yeah, like some of these are sick as fuck. Like they, like they look human generated. Some of these, well, not human generated, but somebody like digitally painted mm. them. Mm. Uh, a bunch of these actually. Uh, let me see. Not so much that creepy lady. <laughs> well, like I said, man, good for a horror movie. Yeah, but like these things are generated like shit. Like this is generated in like, like thirty seconds. That's what I'm saying. It's not just like somebody worked on it all day, like you would think. Was, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, like and all of it's these are like that. Of work, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's why they're pumping them so hard online right now. But the thing is, they're not going to be able to ban them when you don't know if someone did it by yeah. hand or not. Mm, yeah. Uh, like that angel one looks really sick right there with a ring. I think I'm looking at that one. Angel, which yeah, one some of these are. Yeah, like Trapper Keeper art, some of this. One <laughs> you're talking about? Is that what I'm talking about? Maybe that one's sick, at least from the thumbnail. I mean, from like, I can barely see it on the screen, but I think that's what it is. But yeah, said, there's a lot. To... Wonder is the one that you like to use, right, Enrique? Well, Wonder is a piece of trash. It's just, it's an yeah. app, but I mean, it, it keeps rendering the same shit over and over again. So, I, I mean, I don't. I, do, you, I, do you have like one that you prefer, or are you just like kind of experimenting with The reason stuff? I like Wonder is because Wonder is so easily accessible because it's literally an app. That's, that's you don't have to sign up for anything. I see. Yeah. Yeah, it's free. It's free ish. I mean, they want you to like, you yeah. know. What is that? That's not AI generated, is it? <laughs> is it? Star Trek post? Yes. Is that, that Ian McKellen? Like, Star Trek, Trek, Trek. I have no idea. It just made these random people like this guy's <laughs> face is melting. <laughs> really funny. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that's what the that's hell? fantastic, man. <laughs> I, I think uh, as far as yeah, I'm yeah, like learning yeah. the shade. I think, and uh, uh, you know, when you put in the color palette, like you know who Ross Tran is? No. Right, no. uh, it's just some guy with a really good color palette, basically. Like you, you can you can have really amazing color palettes come out of it. That's that's the thing. Like like it knows color. Oh, really well. I do know who this is. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Like because so, he he was using it on a video as well, and he was talking about how like he typed in his own name, <laughs> like in the style of me, you know. And it's it's janky, but it's like oh, this is you know sixty percent of the way there. You can mm -hmm. kind of work with it and fuck with it. Right. Was he concerned? Um. He was not, but that video was from like three months ago, and things have already changed. <laughs> it seems like it's changing every month. As far as I was, out of all the articles I was pulling up, like every two to three months, something would change. There'd be a new update. So like, mm. there will be new updates to this thing, and it's gonna get better and better. And that's, you know, the future is uh, bleak. No, not bleak, but yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> you know, the, the, it's gonna get worse. <laughs> it's gonna get whatever, better and or worse. Um, yeah. I mean that's that's what it does every day, right? <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's about most of what I had to say on this. How are you yeah. guys? <laughs> yeah, and like uh, there's there's so much that you could go on for hours about this stuff, but like True. yeah, it's interesting. And like you know, like any like AI like learning like pattern, like the stuff is it, it's learning exponentially. You know? Yeah. Kind of like like the, the, the like talking like like technology like the okay google or like the like the alexa and stuff like that you know yeah like, the, that stuff is like growing like like exponentially like just this morning i was like i asked like what the weather was like in las vegas like that's part of like the weather forecast he gave it to me and i was like thank you because i was like instinctively you know like i just said like thank you like for for information she's like <laughs> yeah like the voice was like yeah it's my pleasure thank you be, thank you for being so kind you i was liar. like oh, didn't say that's that cool, you're right. it really said cool that touch. Huh? Hey, it really did. it says that really my it pleasure said that, man I, it oh kind of scared God. me a little bit but i was like that's cool it's like and it, it's both cool and creepy that it's like listening to me you know well, <laughs> No, that, that's the FBI agent and the other side of that, I think. Oh, yeah, it totally is. <laughs> we're, we're cool, though. We're cool. <laughs> I'm, yeah, that's so ridiculous. Um, <laughs> that's just funny. Probably true, man. That's why, yeah. that's why all my phone calls feel like kind of uh, – like staticky, and that's why, like, like we, whenever we're talking to Enrique, they're like, like three-hour conversations. Like, mm -hmm. he's like, all of a sudden, like, I can't hear you. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um, I guess that's I about it. Uh, we, we, um, yeah, we're we're hitting Vegas this weekend for the double toasted. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
double double toasted. I don't know tour they do or I don't know. It's like a, yeah, well, yeah. Jealous, I could enjoy yeah, you guys. It's, it's fun. Yeah, it's that would be dope, man. We we got to hit one of these things or like ultimately we got we got to come visit you. Man. Yeah, we got to go out there. I mean, during for that sure. or something like that. Um, a lot you know? of drinking. I mean, mostly drinking. That's yeah. well, uh, for me. It'd be mostly uh. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be smoking. <laughs> our, our edibles, you know. There you go. Like this is gonna, this is gonna be a. Someone's gonna look this up. A future employer, and they're gonna be like, "Hmm." Like, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good on that, man. I'm, 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 done, I'm done updating my resume. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, it's been it's been an hour and a half. I think that's enough yeah. for me. I'm always an hour and a half guy. Arike, so. before you go, I gotta What's ask up? one quick question. Because I keep yeah. catching the tip of your shirt, and I'm like, I want to see your see your Godzilla uh, shirt. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I don't know if you can nice. see it. It's a, it's oh, a that's God's... pretty dope, man. I, yeah. love I got it for uh, Christmas there. I got a few of them right. now. I got some at Comic Con. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I really, I really, I really like the shirt. I'm trying not to get them faded, so I've just been like washing them kind of by hand. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, to make them like last, because they fa- everything fades so fast. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Make those shirts feel. Fill- need to figure it out because I have some t-shirts yeah. I really like that um that are starting to fade a little bit and like that faded look is cool but it's like I don't want the whole image to like be gone or I'm not gonna like, <laughs> yeah go find another one <laughs> you know yeah that's true oh my god my foot but okay I, do you have any parting anybody have any parting stuff or but uh before we go I don't know if he's still in the chat I, I think it's gone now because we only have one person watching I think that's my iPad I have on the side here but uh, <laughs> a person came in here uh Huang Ponimator, and I actually chatted with him one night when I did a live um he came in and was texting and he's from um he works in animation he's um from um uh, I believe South Korea I want to say I wow. think South Korea okay. Yeah, he works for an animation studio. He has a channel, a really good channel, actually. It's got a lot of followers on it. So what's what's it um, called? Shout out to him. I think it's under his, the same name here. If you can see it in the chat, uh, uh, Animator. I think. Hold on, I, let me see the chat. What is it called? Uh, Christian. Uh, wait. Oh no, Huang Pominator. Pominator. Right. Yeah. Christopher uh, Runciman was in here earlier. I was hoping he'd stick around for a bit, but I think he left. Maybe got, it's, it's late for him. He's in my time zone, so maybe he can stay. But, oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry he didn't Wong. stay. Wait, wait. Let me look him up real quick, and then I'll... Yeah. Like Wong, yeah. Wang. Uh, it's a, a, a kid's show. Yeah. It, it works in um, layout and in uh, storyboarding. Oh, wow. That's cool. I like I like it. Uh, very anime. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's good. I like that one a lot. I'll uh, yeah, that's I'll, I'll that's, like, that's basically what I want to do for my comic, man. <laughs> yeah. I'll chop yeah, a piece. Yeah, they can show you this, Phil. Yeah. I just uh, I just subscribed to that, that channel. Yeah, okay, yeah I'll, right. sub, I'll sub to it also. I think we um, lost Vince. Vince, are you there? The, oh shit, he disappeared. Uh, I, I was gonna say something, but now Vince disappeared. Is he going to try to get back in for the last two seconds or no? <laughs> Did I lose you too or no? Are you there? Let me type it. Vince, if you're there, do you want to come back in? For a second, say goodbye. <laughs> come back in and say goodnight. <laughs> Just come back in, man. Just click on and come back. If you still got the link. Back in for a few minutes to finish up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, wait, what was I gonna? I was trying to get my thought back as something floated away. Huang, Huang Pominator H- Animation. H W A N G Pominator. Um, I can see if Ooh, I, yeah, I was gonna say I'll chop up, I'll chop up some of this in pieces and put it on uh, my YouTube. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Go nuts. I mean, he's, he's, you saw the other one I put up, right? Or yes, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I want to start posting more. I'm gonna. I'm trying to reduce the videos I do on my other channels uh, because I'm losing my mind. Okay. Once the studio is finished, I really like. I've got some ideas I want to do for for. Uh, nice. Yeah, for the the coming before the end of the year. So I'm really hoping to that. Once I get this set up, it'll kind of inspire me to start doing a lot more. So good. Uh, good I'm, stuff. I'm kind of excited about it. It's. Is he, is he trying to get back in or what's up? He hasn't, I haven't seen him pop up yet. Let me check. Um, Maybe Instagram. You know what? It's possible. 
It's possible his phone oh, just straight died. Oh, do you, your image just died. Is this me or is this? Hopefully, this isn't me. Um, one sec. Hello. Sorry, I signed Hello. out. Have a good night. Yeah. I was like, Hello. <laughs> I guess he decided right. to call it. I'm, I'm just gonna let you go. All right, see you later. Uh, all okay, right, um, let's just call it then. I'll talk to you later. Uh, all right, What's have up? a good night. I'll be in touch with you soon. I'll mind you talking about something else, but we'll of we'll, course. we'll chat later in the week for sure. I'll be in touch. Yeah, hit me hit me up. All right, I later. Will. Good night. Good chat. All right, everyone. I'm going to call it here as well. But um, for those of you that watch, and I guess nobody else is really tuning in now, but if you're watching this on replay, uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you again in probably in three more weeks. Um, but I will be doing lives uh, sooner than that. So uh, as soon as my, my studio is finished. Anyways, have a good night, everyone. Take care. We will see you again soon.